So I grew up on the Gold Coast. I'm fortunate to be born and bred there and triathlon was a, a mecca long before I even knew about the sport. But uh, for me growing up, I was actually mostly into basketball. I could pretty much be found in the cul-de-sac with the kids and I was pretty competitive. I've got a few scars on my knees from chasing balls, I'd say I'm mostly the extremist of competitive, but um, I tried a number of sports growing up. Um, I also enjoyed tennis, and uh, but swimming was really my love, and, and that was where I really found uh, where I wanted to excel, even from a very, very young age. And, and I recall, you know, even at swim club, really thinking about already then wanting to go to the Olympics. So swimming was, was my 100% passion. I mean, from a young child, I remember trying to do as many sessions as I could and I thrived in the pool and I wasn't necessarily the most talented. Um, there were definitely kids within my small training group that were faster and did things seemingly a little easier, but I liked the work. I liked the one who was in there, the last athlete. I was always pedantic about, you know, making sure we'd done the exact number that was required. The coach, you know, had said, are you sure? And I would, I'd be that kid who'd be like, well, let's do one extra just to make sure. And, um, you know, for me, I just felt that that, that was just something I loved. I, I loved that. Um, I, I enjoyed the competitiveness in training still, but I also realized that I like to be the one to make sure that I'd finished all my training and I thrived on that and, and that's really where I felt that you know maybe that there was something in it for me and, and as especially as we got a little older a lot of those kids you know tended to sort of fall away and, and for me um, you know my training I only got stronger and stronger and, and that's where I think my, my mind started fading more into can I go to an Olympics one day. I actually was introduced to triathlon through a friend in my swim club. Um, her parents competed in triathlons and I sort of knew what they did, but it didn't really, really interest me. Um, but then she started getting a little bit more involved and all of a sudden she wasn't at swimming so much and was doing like running and biking. Long story short, she wanted to go and do the Noosa Triathlon and um, her parents were enlisted as well and they were doing a teams. But at the last minute, one of their swimmers pulled out and they said to me, well, would you like to do it? And I, I said, I can obviously swim 1500 meters. I hadn't really done that much open water swimming, but I was confident in my ability and um, I really didn't think much of it. All I knew was that I went and swam in a canal and got out and I tagged someone else and they completed the rest of the race. But I recall getting to Noosa Triathlon and just looking around thinking, wow, this is so exciting. I mean, I was used to competing for week long uh, events, you know, for national championships, maybe one event, two events a day in an enclosed environment. And to me, this was just excitement plus. And I did the swim leg um, and I, you know, I was pretty happy with myself. I, I beat quite a few of the boys and, you know, that competitive streak really set you know, set me on fire there. And, and from then on, I remember getting out thinking, you know, I, I think I, one day I want to do the other two legs. And it was a slow process, but I eventually got there. Seeing as I was a swimmer, first and foremost, I, I did enjoy the diversity of the, the different strokes. I, I liked medley. Um, I always felt there was this changing lead for me in, in the individual medley event. And, and I think that somehow started translating into triathlon for me. And it was probably a good combination of timing. I changed schools. Uh, I wanted to pursue my swimming actually even further and, and combine it with my last years of school. And as fate would have it, the school was so sporty that um, you were you were know you're basically enlisted to do all sports and primarily the first one was cross country. I was dead against it. I didn't know how to run. Running wasn't my thing. I just had a natural fitness from my swimming. And uh, before I knew it, I was, I was in, enrolled in doing the cross country for the school. Um, often begging and pleading not to be but there was something about it as well that I obviously enjoyed the fact that you know my competitive side came out even when I got the opportunity to run and it was basically just a, a catalyst I think over a couple of years of, of that time of you know going and seeing the Noosa Triathlon, changing school, running came into it and then I was sort of thinking well I've almost pieced them all together and and I guess the cross training for me became addictive. I, I really enjoyed um, that difference in diversity and then you know doing other sports but how 
I felt they all benefited each other at different times. And, and I think for me, that's where I started becoming very attracted to triathlon.